Christianity has a heritage of almost two millennia in the soil of Kerala. Thanks to the joint efforts of foreign missionaries, believers both native and foreign, a new way of worship and tradition in the art and cultural landscape of Kerala evolved and the local circumstances prevailed. The known Christian literary tradition traces its origin to Johann Ernst Hanxelden, a German missionary who was popularly known as Arnos Pateri. He arrived in Kerala during the early part of the 18th century and lived in Sambalur near Trishur till the end of his life. A polyglot who easily handled Malayalam, Tamil and Sanskrit, Arnos composed many works in Malayalam including Puttanpana, which is based on the New Testament. The very first printing press in Kerala was established in Kortayam in 1821 by Benjamin Bailey, a British missionary who had spent 34 years in Kerala. In 1846, an English Malayalam dictionary was published. Dr. Hermann Gundert, a renowned scholar and linguist from Germany, became a resident of Thalasheri, Kannur, in 1839. Gundert collected many ancient books and manuscripts on palm leaves, Thaliola, and compiled several books in Malayalam. Dr. Gundert's greatest contribution was the founding of the first newspapers, Rajya Samacharam and Paschimodiyam. In 1846, Father Chavara Kuryakos Elias started printing in Malayalam without any technical support from foreign missionaries. The first modern-day newspaper, Nasrani Deepika, was published in 1887 in Kortayam under the leadership of Nidhirakal Mani Kattanar. Travel writing in Malayalam was also the contribution of a literary active Christian society. The first travelogue in Malayalam, Vartamana Pustagam, was written by Pare Makkal Toma Kattanar, based on his travel to Rome in 18th century. Sri Yesu Vijayam Mahakavyam, authored by Kattakayam Cheriyan Mapala, demands special mention here. The field of art in Kerala has been significantly enriched by the contributions made by Christian society. One of the most popular Christian art forms is that of Margam Kali. The song used in Margam Kali is known as Margam Kalipata. This song was around 4,000 lines, composed in different meters, and is believed to have been penned by Kallisheri Ittitoman Kattanar in the 17th century. Parijamuttakali is yet another contribution of Christian society. With its origin lying in the martial art form of Kalaripaita, Parijamuttakali is rightly considered to be developed by Christian warriors of the 16th century. The participants dance to the song rendered by the asan or troop head who stands at the center. 
ഗുരുക്കന്മാരുടെ തുണ ഇല്ലാതെ സഭയിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ വിളങ്ങില്ല അരങ്ങ് തകർത്ത് കളിക്കുമ്പോ കളി തലക്കുമ്പോൾ The first ever Chavatu Nadagam was scripted by Chinna Tambi Annavi, a native of Tamil Nadu. The influence of Portuguese culture and foreign missionaries are quite evident in these art forms. There are several centers exclusively dedicated to the propagation, learning and research of Christian performing arts. Some of the renowned institutes include Krupasanam, Kalavur and the Pastoral Center of Telakam. The Christian community has contributed to the rich and varied art and literary scene of Kerala. From dictionaries to newspapers, travelogues to performing arts, there is no field that is left untouched by the early leaders and missionaries. The covetable position enjoyed by Kerala in comparison to the rest of India in terms of educational achievements and cultural variety is also due to the selfless service of many passionate Christian scholars.